Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Show. Now it's time. On Prank Call Nation. Cactus, 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 this cocksucker. Cactus, 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 you've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus, 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 this is going to be a fuck job to edit. Cactus, 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 at 12 o'clock midnight, fuck you. Hey everyone, it's RBCP and this is the phone show and it's going to be a short episode, just like an hour probably and that's it, so don't get like all comfortable and everything, because it's just an hour. Uh, every time the show starts, the I start reading the chat room and I'm trying to figure out what the hell people are talking about. The time clock! Palindrome. Yeah, uh, yeah, send me timestamps for the time clock. The, the angry time clock. I need to set up something at phonelosers.org slash clock to explain what the project is. So check that URL. Maybe by the time you hear it, you know, it'll exist. Or or there'll be a description. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. It's a Facebook page. It's in Salina, Ohio. It's Bella's Italian Grill. I'm going to post a link to it in... The chat room. It's really easy though. It's uh, facebook.com slash Bella's Italian Grill. Grill has an E on the end of it. And Bella is spelled like um, the, the Twilight movies, Bella. So, um, uh, uh, what, what do we do on these? We, we post crazy, weird things. We don't post mean things. We don't slander their business unless it's really obvious. Like, make things obviously fake. That last guy got so upset uh, because he thought we were just out to get him. Uh, if you leave a review, leave five stars. Leave a crazy review, but put five stars because, you know, you don't want to mess up with their stars. So, facebook.com slash Bella's Italian Grill with an E. Make things obviously fake. You don't have to like their page again. Uh, you know, just like the last one, you just... Uh, you can make comments and like things all you want there without being their friend. Uh, the last one we did, uh, Big Bamboo's Dockside Grill, uh, I wrote down my favorite review. Uh, there's still stuff happening there, and, and really, you guys, just cut it out. Come on. <laughs> it was funny last week. I mean, it's still funny. But uh, I wrote down this this review someone wrote. Um, his name's Michael Litz. And he like wrote, the owner, Dick, is a real tightwad. We were unable to wash our hands or use the toilets as he has an elaborate hydroelectric turbine that powers off from the unis municipal water system, which the waiter explained allowed them to sell back power to the electric company to offset the cost of the lease. Aside from the sound of every faucet in the building running on full blast, the atmosphere and the service were great. So, uh, yeah, that's from Michael Litz. He, w he wins the comments. No, I mean, there were tons of great comments on there. I just happened to see that one a day or two ago and thought it was hilarious. So, tee -hee. Mr. Clay is setting the chat room to uh, plus V. Plus M, I mean. Because uh, he knows drama's just going to happen if, if I'm doing a show. Thanks, Mr. Clay. <laughs> um, so what are we going to do today? Uh... Let's see. I, I did get a couple uh, customer numbers. Uh, let, let me pull up a page here real quick before I do anything. There was a show earlier today with Cracker and Spray, and you could just feel the love between them. They have such chemistry, and they, they, they really enjoy doing shows together, and I think there's going to be much more of those because they get along so well. It was a fun show. They angered some Twitter complainers and some Craigslist people. Good times. And Cracker is now officially a part of the PCN network, so welcome to PCN, Cracker. Okay, I'm looking at Yelp check-ins. I figure we'll use those for backup over the next hour. The customer numbers I got, they need to wait a while. 
um, just to make sure that they're gone from the business that they checked in at. Palindrome says I'm a drama magnet. Thanks, Palindrome. I really did enjoy the show this morning. It was fun. It was good stuff. I think I'm lying. Jeez. So uh, people who are listening to the show, uh, just remember that I do not watch the chat room in Mixler or YouTube. If you want to chat with everyone else, come to prankcallnation.com slash chat. Uh, someone checked into a hospital. Let's prank the hospital. Pranking hospitals is always hilarious. I highly recommend it to all prank callers that you prank call hospitals. And that you also trick the hospitals out of, uh, trick them out of, you know, patient information. Because that's f- hilarious. Starbucks on all schools. This is Carly. How can I help you? Hi. Could I page a customer who is currently in there, like, to come to the phone? Um, yeah. Who are you looking for? Uh, his name is Jelson Guillermo. Um, could you spell that? Uh-huh. J-E-L-S-O-N. Okay, Jelson. Yep. Can you give me a quick description? Uh, he's very Asian. Like, uh, he might be wearing a suit or something. Very Asian. Yeah, because that's what Asians wear. And, um, I, I don't know, he's just Asian looking. He has black hair and glasses. I don't... Um, is your name Jelson? No. I'm not, I, I don't see anyone here named Jelson. Oh, I can ask that's around weird. a little bit more, but there's no one that even really fits that description either. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. Um, he... Are you sure you have the right Starbucks? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, he just he always comes to this one. Uh, maybe he left already though. Perhaps. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. I will find it in my heart to forgive you. I mean, you. <laughs> well, com- I appreciate that very much. Completely sir. ruined my day by not being able to find him. But whatever, <laughs> you big jerk. All right. Well, thanks for calling. Have a good one. Okay. I probably will only tip you ten percent if I ever come in there again. <laughs> That'll teach All you right. a thing. Goodbye. Or two. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Right now, she's just like, what a jerk. What an asshole. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Nothing else. Nothing else on the Yelps. Oh, but I do have uh, requests. I can, I can do a few requests before I do these customer numbers. Uh, this guy wants me to prank his old landlord, but I think I'm calling... I'm doing this too late, because he's in... Um, they're in Georgia. Hi, uh, is this a, an apartment complex? Yes, how are you today? Oh, I'm fine. Um, are you like the manager there or... Listen agent. Huh? The listen agent. Oh, are you at like the office here at the apartments? Say that again? Are you at the office here in the apartment complex? Yes. Okay, good. Um, is maintenance still here today because... Uh, me and the neighbors, we we removed the wall in between our apartments. We're trying to make one big apartment out of two apartment units, mm-hmm. and um, the the ceiling's caving in. What apartment? Yeah, here in Westbury Springs, apartment homes. Uh huh. Number four. Apartment number four. Probably yeah. But yeah, the um, we we removed the entire wall. It's like part of the living room, and then an entire bedroom. We just we took the wall out, and we it's been great and everything, but it's starting to sag in the middle. Okay, give me one second. Hurry. What is the company you're calling from? Huh? What is the company you're calling from? The company I'm calling from? Mm-hmm. I'm not with the company. I'm a I'm a tenant. Oh, okay. I'm here in the apartments. Durr. The doy. What is your name? My name is Craig. Okay, give me one second. Playing my Game Boy while I wait. Dustbun says I'm having a good show so far and is not requesting that I quit yet. Hello. Hi. Hi, you say apartment four? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. So are you the resident over there? Yep. Oh. Because I have um, Jessica Rios in here. That's my girlfriend. We live together. Oh, okay. So what is the problem again? Um, okay, so the apartment next door, I think it's apartment mm -hmm. five. Mm -hmm. It um, we we took the wall out. We removed the whole wall, so there's no wall separating the apartments anymore. It's like a big apartment. Oh, we completely removed. And how? Yeah, we took the wall out. How come? Because we're friends, and we just wanted to have a big party, like and, and make you know open it all up. It's it's uh it it looks nicer now. It's like I, I don't know. It just looks really nice. It's all opened up and big. I think maybe we need to put a support post in the middle, maybe, to keep it mm -hmm. keep the ceiling from sagging in. Okay, give me one second. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is Stephanie. How can I assist you? Hey, it's Craig. I, I'm, I live with oh, with Jessica over in number four. Uh huh. We, we removed the entire wall inside that separates us from next door. Uh huh. And the ceiling is starting to sag a little bit. Like I think maybe that was a supporting wall, but I'm not uh -huh. sure. But I think probably was because it's starting to sag. Okay, so I need to send maintenance over. Well, I don't know. Like, do you have any two by fours we could borrow, just to kind of, we could just put a two by four. Why do you need some two by fours? To oh. prop the ceiling up so it stops sagging. No, I'm finna send maintenance on over. Why is it sagging? Because we removed the entire wall. You know how like the, there's a wall separating us from next door. Well, why would you do that? Because, um, just to make it bigger, to open it up. Like we're friends. Us and the people. Who, you're friends with who? With the next door neighbors. And what apartment? Stop. Apartment five. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be what they are because we're four. Me and Jessica are four. Mm, okay, I'm on my way over. Well, no, I. Well, can you bring some two by fours? No, I'm not gonna bring any two by fours. So I'm getting ready to bring a camera. <laughs> a camera? Why? No, you can't. Yes. You, I don't give you permission to take pictures inside my apartment. Uh, you don't have to give me permission to take pictures oh, in here. Oh, yes, I do. You should read the Bill of Rights. No, not if you have removed a wall. I have every right to take pictures. Well, we don't want the we don't want the wall to be replaced. We're thinking maybe just a post in the middle. You can't remove the wall. Who but, gave you permission to remove a wall? Well, we don't need permission. It's in our house. It's like it's here in our place. Yeah, yes, you do. You need permission in order to remove a wall. Well, it it removed just fine without the permission, and it's not there anymore. It's been like okay, that for well, months. You, you can't, you can't do that. Well, I, I just, I mean, I don't know. I don't want it replaced. Like now that it's done, we may as well just leave it, right? No. I mean, that's no. What... It cannot. It can't be left like that. Ugh. Sorry. Yeah, no, we're going to leave it like that. No, it can't. I'm on my way over. Also, you know the, the bin outside by the basketball courts or whatever it is, the, the clothing and, and shoes bin? Yes. I lost my iPhone in there. Do you guys have a key you for that? you drop your iPhone in there? Yeah, I was reaching in trying to steal clothes. You was trying to steal clothes? Well, not, out of not it? steal, because it's, it's public. <laughs> you know, it's on the sidewalk. That's I can... what you just said. <laughs> well, no, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. But I, I dropped my iPhone in there, and now I can't reach it. Do you have a key? No, I don't. You have to call the number that's on it. Oh, it's not chained down, is it? I'm just going to bring it to my apartment and take it apart. Mm. No, you can't do that. Well, if my iPhone's in there, my iPhone's worth more than that container thing. No, but you can't remove the container, sir, and take it into, into your apartment. Where are you even on the lease? You're not even on the lease. No, are you? no, it's it's under Jessica's name. I'm her boyfriend. Okay, you're not. First of all, you're not even on the lease. Oh, so, so I, I I can't get in trouble then for taking the wall out. Uh, yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on my okay. way to the unit. Well, I don't see how I would get in trouble if I'm not on the lease. It's you know. So you would jeopardize Jessica? Oh no, 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 she's fine. Like legally, 
we haven't done anything wrong, and you can't do anything about it. You can't. I'm not even opening the door for you when you come over. Okay. Well, do I, whatever it is that you feel like you have to do. Okay. I have an uncle who's and a I lawyer. Do what it is that I. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, go ahead and call your uncle. I'm not going to call him. I'm just saying I have an uncle that's okay. a lawyer. Okay, all right, well. So I, okay, I, well, I know go ahead and do whatever it is that you feel like you have to I do. know the law better than you because my uncle's a lawyer. Okay, okay. Now you're saying I can't even get my phone back when I lost uh, my phone. No, sir, I'm telling you that you have to call the number that is on the there's bin. No, there's no number on the bin. Okay, well, I look up the number and I give it to you. Do you want to come over here and get it or do you want to hold on? Um. No, thanks. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. See ya, big jerk. That didn't seem to be going anywhere. <laughs> if you're watching on uh, YouTube, here's a picture of the bin. Can I do this? Ah, there it is. Clothing and shoes. <laughs> so yeah, that was a submission from. From, from, oh, Samar. His name is Samar, and he wants me to prank call his old apartment. So, Samar, I hope you were not friends with someone named Jessica in apartment four, because, tee hee. <laughs> oh, a sign that says dumpster is for residents only. Eh. Okay. Someone wants me to check the Facebook page, so I'm going to do that. Okay, facebook.com slash Bella's Italian Grill with an E. Uh, 31 minutes ago, Bella posted the uh, Mojito Madness tonight. Come in for a homemade Mojito in one of four flavors, only four ninety nine, And they pair beautifully with our Cajun Fries scallops. And, and there's only four comments. Uh, Alpaca Man says, can I order a Cactus Mojito? Mojito, is that what it is? Sorry, I'm an I'm I'm Amer- American. Uh, the cactus mojito is superb, says James. Put cactus in the menu and I'm in. Uh, the grilled cactus was great. You simply must vis- <laughs> visit during the cactus season. Oh, and then there's a bunch of reviews. I had the cactus; it was superb. I came to this restaurant. They set me on fire and kicked me repeatedly. It was the greatest experience of my life. I didn't have to order the spaghetti because they turned me into it. Also, I'm a dolphin. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of reviews. <laughs> this review is hidden. The manager always walks around with the schlong hanging out and in front of his pants and pisses on everyone's food. The ambience is like crap and the place smells like crap. And the food tastes like cat vomit and the drinks taste like dog piss yeah but he's got five stars so that's good Tee-hee. I will check this again before before I quit for the day uh, Clayton just posted a picture of poop monster poop <laughs> I'll just leave that on the screen for a while uh, Canada wants to know how to send me numbers uh, just go to phonelosers.org slash snowplow show and submit a number there's a number submission form and I will ignore the submission form for several months. And probably I will call it right around the time you've gotten tired of PLA and don't listen anymore. I'm bad at requests. I'm sorry. Sorry. All right. I'm deleting Seymour's request. Thank you, Seymour, for that. See, uh, that request from Seymour, that was from a really long time ago. <laughs> he probably doesn't listen to this show anymore. I need to catch up on that. I need to start doing a show five days a week, and then I'll be able to keep up with everything. Okay, so yeah, let's just call the the customer numbers I got. Let's get those out of the way before I have to quit for the day. Oh my god. What the hell are you guys posting? What the hell? I don't want to see this. Someone kick Mikolag from the chat room if he's in there. He needs to be thrown out forever. Okay, so uh, it's a haircut place that I've gotten the numbers for. I only got three. And they were just there. They were online check-ins. What should I say to haircut people? I'll say anything you want. Anything the chat room wants. 
Palindrome says they used hair remover instead of shampoo. That'd be Nair, right? I know about Nair from a Weird Al song. Hello, Rich Resnick. Hey, Rich. Hey. Hey, it's Greg from... Uh, you had a haircut here today? No, I didn't. Well, you, you uh, did an online check-in? I did, but uh, the person who was going to cut my hair wasn't there. Emily. Okay, well, yeah, I'm, I'm just one. That's what I'm calling about. Um, it's kind of like wasting our time. Why don't you just let Amy cut your hair? Like, why bother checking in if if you're not even going to come in? Uh, are you serious about this? Yeah, yeah. We have like three girls here cutting hair today. Uh, Amy would love to cut your hair. If you'd like to come in, well, still, that's fine. Well, just... When I when I checked in, I didn't know Emily wasn't there. Right? Emily's not even that great. Like in my opinion, like I, she's like I would say she's number four of all the girls we have working here right now. Are you the the manager of this place? Yeah, yeah. My name is Roy Gerbel. Oh, but I just want to say, like, don't don't, don't even check in online if you're not going to come in because it, it just wastes our time, wastes computer I resources. I did come in. She wasn't there. I know. Why didn't you just have Amy cut your hair? Amy was available. She wasn't doing anything. I. I I find it hard to comprehend you're actually having this conversation with me. I'm a good customer. I like Emily in the way she cuts my hair. She wasn't there. Look, she's too the young. Was com- she's the too young for you. She's completely empty. She's too young for you. So, Emily, Emily is not interested in you. It's it's weird because you're so much older for, than her. Wait a minute. My name is Roy Gerbel. Like she, she's just, she is just, she's, she's just doing her job, being nice. It doesn't mean she has a crush on you or anything. She just is doing her job. She's friendly. But I mean, anyone will be friendly. You can have Amy cut your hair. Amy's friendly. Is, is, this must be a gag, I assume. So is, thanks. Is Amy not skinny enough for you? Is that the problem? <laughs> okay, he's gone. I guess I'll just delete that one. <laughs> He knows it's a prank. Darn it. Oh, several people, I think Palindrone maybe just said that, but uh, sexual harassment. That's always funny. Let's call him right back. Hello? Hey, Emily says you've been sexually harassing her, so... Um, hey, asshole, she... would you stop this? I'm just saying, you like... fucking idiot. Shut the fuck up. Can you just cut it out? Wow. All right, I got hung up on. Oh my god, I need to refresh this Italian girl page. This is this picture needs to go away. Go away, picture. That's better. Now there's a cartoon picture of a cactus with poop. Much better. <laughs> picture of a dog pooping on the beach. It was it was strange to see potted cactus as urinal dividers. But they proved to be useful after one of the flaming gay waiters tried to hit on me in the men's room. That's written by a guy whose name I don't know how to pronounce. Thanks, guy. James says, Bella has the best glory hole I've ever seen at any grill ever. Snake person, I hate you. (laughs) Okay. I have one more haircut person. My caller, caller ID is showing up as that particular haircut place, by the way. Hello? Hello, is this Dennis? Yes. Hey, my name is Roy. I work over here. Okay, hey, how are you doing? Oh, pretty good. You were, you were in here earlier, not too long ago? Yeah. And uh, I, I'm the I'm the hair collector. I I, uh, I sweep up the hair after the hair is cut. And um, I just wanted to compliment you on the hair. Uh, it's, it's like of the best quality. And I, it's going to bring a lot of money in the hair auction market. That's outstanding. And, I got that going for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just when it's cut off, you know, it's perfect. Like, this is exactly the consistency and length and everything that they like. Sweet. So, um, I just wanted to say thank you. Yeah. And, you know, if you come back in, they'll give you like a dollar off for all for the hair quality. Okay. That's a good deal. And, um, also... I had a DNA test done on the hair. Yeah. And, and it turns out uh, you're my son. That's crazy. I know. It's weird. 
Yeah. Do you think well, maybe if you came, uh, came in here, um, we could take a look at your pubic hairs and get like maybe a sample of those? Yeah, um, yeah, I might be able to do that. What time's good? Anytime, anytime. I'm here all day. I'm here till closing. Okay. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll uh, I'll be in there in a little bit. That'd be great. All right. Thanks so much. Yeah. Have a nice day. You too. Goodbye. That was pointless. I really liked that idea. Um, I was just reading ideas from the chat room and. That's the kind of idea that could be amazing with the right person. I need to write that down or something. Dustbun says, uh, I did advertise a short show and it's been 40 minutes already, so maybe I should think about quitting. It hasn't been 40 minutes yet. It's been like 30. I would love to prank call Skype customer service, but they don't have any. All they have is chat people in India or Germany or wherever it's from. This music reminds me of uh, Speed Rumbler. It's an old arcade game that nobody listening has ever heard of. But I loved it. Well, I'm Scott Piazza, this is Josh. Hello, this is Greg. Um, I was trying to reach a customer that's there right now. Um, okay. Uh, her name's Amanda Barone. Oh, oh, sure. Let me go and uh, find her real fast. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, can I ask? It's Greg? Yeah, Greg. All right. Give me one sec. Have you seen uh, Mandy? Um, Mandy's actually kind of unav- unavailable right now. Can I leave a message? Oh, yeah. If you could, that'd be great. Uh, just let her know that, that Greg called. Okay. Um, Greg, is there like any specific place or... Oh no, she has she, she yeah, she has my cell number. I think her cell's off or something. Yeah, no problem. And uh, right. if you just uh, write in the message, um it's it's about the anal. It's about the what? The anal, A N A L. A N. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, no problem. Oh, bye. Okay, bye. Flip some switches. Tabachi Bachi's been doing shows where he flips switches. I think I mentioned that on the last uh, thing I did. Tabachi did some hilarious switch flipping at a uh, gyms, maybe a Starbucks. I don't remember. It was was hilarious. Dust buns. I think I'm going to quit within 45 minutes. That's my guess. I think I'm going to quit at 3 p.m. Pacific time. I got shit to do. Don't post porn on Bella's Italian Grill. Or gross snake pictures. Or poop pictures. Mikolaj. Uh, Zach says he went into Bella's with no trousers and they asked him to leave. Okay, I, I, I'll give them a quick call. Thank you for calling Bella's. This is Christy. How may I help you? Hey, Christy. Um, is it possible to order food over the phone and then come in and pick it up? Yeah, absolutely. A, ca- a carry-out order to go? Uh-huh, yep. Okay. Your name, please? Uh, my name is Roy. Okay. Can I get a photo of just in case, please? Sure. It's uh, a 419-586-7586. Okay. What would you like? Uh, I'd like um, uh, three of the cactus mojitos. One more time? Uh, the cactus mojitos. I'd like three of those. This is. <laughs> am, I pronu- um, am I pronouncing mojito right? I, I'm sorry. I'm... Yeah, but okay. we don't have a cactus mojito. Oh, that's weird. On the face. I'm sorry. This is Bella's. Yeah, Bella's Italian Grill. Uh, it says it says on the Facebook. It's, people are talking about how good the cactus mojito is. Oh, okay. Like, are you sure you don't? <laughs> Well, yeah, okay. Well, then I will have to do a little research with uh, Julie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, we'll do three cactus mojitos. Okay, great. Is that it? Uh, yeah, how, how long would it take for those to be ready? They're, they don't take very long um, to make, so maybe about 15 minutes. That's about Oh, it. 15. Is, that's faster than like r- the other types of mojitos you have, the cactus mojitos? Mm-hmm. Like, because um, it, it usually takes longer than for the other ones, right? So the the cactus are they are those easier to cook, or to make or whatever you do to them? 
Um, I find that they're all equally e- about the same time to make, actually. Even the cactus ones? Yeah. Um, would you say, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, uh, you know, easiness, uh, is, where would you rate the cactus mojitos? You know, how I mean, they're, they're, they're easy to make. It's just a little more complicated because there are so many more steps. Oh, I, I see. I mean, it's just it's an order, adding them in the correct order. and. There's more steps on the cactus one than on others? More correct. Okay. And um, do you have a restroom for the public in there? We do. Okay, because when I come in, um, I may need to use the glory hole. Absolutely. Like, are the glory holes in good condition? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, how many glory holes does each restroom have? For the men's, it's one stall and two urinals. Mm-hmm. But glory it's holes. Place. So just one glory hole? Yes. Or, or how many glory holes? One. One glory hole. And then in the female restroom? Three. Three glory holes? Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, what what circumference would you say the glory holes are? Or I'm that sorry, I don't what know. what diameter? Not sure. Is there any way to check? No. I I can connect you to our general manager, and he'll be happy to find out for you. That'd be great. Okay, one moment. And and while while I'm talking to him, you'll make the cactus mojito, right? Yep. You'll get started on the cactus mojito. Okay. One moment. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Lady's very helpful. Why does the women's restroom get more glory holes than the men's restroom? That makes no sense. What the hell? You're right, Darnell. It's a sexist restaurant. Josh Bresser, Bre- Bresser says he was very offended by Bella's Italian Grill Third Reich costume party. Avoid! Adam Huron, he says that the food was pretty good for the first time eating there, but the glory holes in the bathroom were superb. Adam, since you've been there, can you tell me the diameter of each glory hole? With you soon. Please hold the line. And or the circumference. So tonight's Thursday, and you know what that means. Thursday is Carlito's show on MadhouseLive.com. It starts at 7 p.m. Pacific. 10 p.m. on the stupid coast, east coast. So woohoo! Everyone be listening tonight. Come to prankcallnation.com and listen to the Madhouse show. Hello, this is Benjamin. How may I assist you? Hey, Benjamin. Um, she was just uh, said that you could help me with the glory hole situation. What are you um, talking about? In the bathrooms, like she said, the men's room only has one glory hole, but the women's room has three glory holes. Um, that uh, uh, we only have restrooms here. We don't have uh, glory holes. Well, glory holes in the restrooms. Are you talking about the toilets? No, no, glory hole. No, sir. We're not that kind That's, of place. W- what kind of place? Are we a restaurant? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there should be glory holes. Isn't that like a Ohio state law or something? No, that is not. Every restaurant I go to has glory holes in it. Uh, again, we're talking about toilets, correct? No, Where no. You use, you use your facilities no. to. Like, do you have a phone? Can you look up glory hole on the on Google and so you can see what it is? Yes, I can, and I will do that right now. But uh, okay, I'll hold. If you could call back at another time, we could take care of this. Okay. Take care of what? Are, like. Um, Sir, uh, again, all we have here are toilets to use uh, for uh, for your personal hygiene of that nature. We don't carry glory holes. I don't know what that is. It oh. sounds like some sort of a slurred um, understanding of a joke. A joke? And we are not going to appreciate that kind of conversation over the phone. Well, I, no, it's not a joke. It's where men put their dicks into. I know what you're talking about and we don't have that you said you didn't know what i was talking about now now you're saying you do i I'm, I'm a professional and i don't talk about that kind of thing over the business phone of where i work but i just want to make sure that those are available if i come in to pick up my order for my cactus mojitos no no that will not be available all right well i still want to get the cactus mojitos um do you know how much longer those have to go um we don't carry cactus mojitos we have four flavors which is strawberry and peach, 
raspberry and a traditional one. Oh, no. And that is a classy mojito. The person I talked to before, she said you have cactus mojitos. Um, thank you so much. Uh, we'll try and uh, find out who that is, and we will get back in touch with you, okay? Well, I'm, thank lo- you so I'm much looking again, on sir. the Facebook page, and it says Mej- cactus mojitos are the best in the reviews and stuff. Well, I mean, we don't carry cactus mojitos. I think that's just a farce that's been put on there. I'm sorry again, sir. Well, why would everyone say that if it's not true? I'm, I'm on, not sure. I mean, I'm on the right Facebook. You know, I think that maybe it's a possibility that someone is just, you know, posting that on there saying they got that here before and maybe thinking some other place that they gotten it before. Why don't you have cactus mojitos? Um, because we're actually located in Ohio, and cactus isn't really a no. Oh, don't talk down to me. Type of plant. Don't, don't talk to me like that. What do you mean? I'm just, I'm just like asking a question. I'm just trying to clear things up. I'm just asking a question. You don't have to be Correct. a jerk about it. I apologize. I did not want you to sound like a jerk. Okay. Um, but we do not carry cactus here. Um, it's something that we have never tried before. Do you have, um, well, the lady before, she told me, she said she's in the middle of preparing them. She said cactuses are easier to prepare than the rest of them. And who was the lady again that said that? Whoever I talked to before, whoever gave you the phone. Huh. Well, she, she's I'm full of shit. To her because, yeah, I'd she is. Fire her ass. She is. I'll try. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right, but, but, I mean, uh, on that, on that note, I think that, uh. All right, bye. Hang right. up. Bye. Hang up the phone. Uh, people in the chat room are saying that uh, they are starting to delete all of the posts. I'm happy that the snake man is gone. I don't want to see the snake man anymore. Uh, but everyone's just posting new things. Uh, someone, someone, the first person to post it, he's saying, is this a result of the recent heart bleed bug? I don't know if he's one of us or one of them, but... He suspects the heart bleed virus. Uh, People are telling me to check PMs. I can't check PMs because if I do, they're on the camera. I can't have that. Maybe if I take a break soon, I will pause the camera and and look at the PMs. So I always check PMs on camera, and then they're on the YouTube, and then people start calling the numbers that are in them. It's a big old mess. It's my stupid setup here. It's my fault. Hello. Hey, is this Joseph? Yes, this is him. Hello, this is Gary from... You had your hair cut here earlier? Oh, really? Yep, yep. Was that true? Did I reach okay. the right person? I think Amy cut your hair? Yes. Okay, and uh, yeah, I, I was, uh, I'm the guy, I, I sweep up all the hair and, and uh, you know, put it on the auction websites to try and get money from the hair. And uh, your hair is okay. like a very good quality hair, and I just wanted okay. to congratulate you because like your hair is so nice. And I mean, this is the kind of hair that like usually fetches top dollar on the auction sites. Like I might be able to get over five bucks for this. Okay. So um, yes. Uh, so why are you calling me? Oh, well, they wanted me to call you and let you know they're going to put a coupon in the computer under your phone number, and um, you're going to get fifty cents off on your next haircut. Cause it's like no, the, I just talked to them, at, and they said that you guys are calling people and harassing them because I got three calls from you in a row earlier. I'm not harassing. I'm just telling you you have nice hair. Okay. Well, I appreciate if you don't call me back, especially off a of phone number. Well, I'm I'm from I'm at. I, no, you're not. I'm the I ha- just spoke. hair sweeper. I just spoke to the people. At yeah, right. What did they say? They said that you guys hacked into the system and you guys are calling people and corporate is aware of this. Hacked into a system? And harassing people about their hair and shit. I just got done talking to... Whoa, whoa, don't curse at us. We'll ban you from our store. Nobody hacked any systems around here. I just wanted to tell you that your hair is nice and... Oh, he's gone. (laughs) Well, that's a first. I've never had... The haircut place call back people like that. That I know of. Alright, that's the end of the haircut place. Uh, I'm gonna look for some more things here. Let's play a, a song. 
a song that I'm sure nobody's heard yet. Let's play uh, I Freak Alone by Bone Cage. Uh, the video for that is finished, by the way. I don't think it was finished when I did my last show on this past Saturday. The video is done. I'm sure most of you have seen it by now. Um, but uh, it's it's getting tweeted by a lot of people. Like uh, 2600 Magazine tweeted a link to the video. Uh, DEF CON, the official DEF CON convention, they, they tweeted it. Anonymous... With, like, they have a million followers. They tweeted it. And the Boing Boing website, Whitey Cracker, he, he's he's a kind of a nerdcore rapper. He tweeted about it and said it's it's a masterpiece. So, woohoo! Thanks, Bone Cage and everyone, for sending in the footage. It turned out really nice, I think. The whole, the whole video, the crowdsourced video thing. We're going to do lots more of that. And make you guys do all my work. If you're on YouTube, you're not going to hear anything. Sorry. Sucks to be you. You should be listening on the Mixler and watching on the YouTube. I walk up to your home, attach your TNI up to my phone. Hi, my name is what? My name is... You're listening to, listening to the Prank Call Nation Network Machine. Hello. 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 At PrankCallNation.com Okay, we're back. Toastman is con- commanding me to read the Bella's reviews, but I've read them all. I mean, I haven't read all of them, but... There hasn't been one for 33 minutes. Oh wait, maybe if I click See All. Oh, also, about the song, the Bone Cage song, uh, which you can buy, by the way, from... Uh, theboneCage.bandcamp.com. Um, I, I posted on my personal Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash rbcp, a, a tweet at Green Day talking about the song and a link to it. You should retweet that because maybe if enough people retweet that with the name Green Day in it, they will. Po- yeah, that's pretty unlikely. Never mind. Don't do that. What am I thinking? Green Day's got better things to do. Duh. Duh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bella's reviews. Yeah, 37 minutes ago was the last review, according to my screen, so I don't know. They're hilarious, though. Let's check the Yelps. I've got maybe 15 minutes left. Ah. See, I always do that. I always forget to unmute on uh, on the YouTube not even intoxicated, and I can't remember. So, it's always best to listen on the Mixler. Uh, Zach says that Bellas is deleting their pictures now. God, I told you guys to keep it nice, and everyone is posting all that horrible stuff in there. But on the upside, maybe these people, they know Big Bamboo's, whatever that other place was called, and maybe they'll compare notes, and, and they won't feel personally victimized. You know, they'll just, they'll, they'll know it's just crazy cyber hackers, cyber attacks. Hey, if any of you, like, I, I see there's a lot of PMs on the IRC that I can't open without showing everyone who's watching, uh, but I will, I will take those, um, after the show, I will write them down in my notes and maybe I'll get to them on the next show. So I'm too lazy to stop the camera so I can open my MIRC windows. Wow, I have submissions in here from Brittany Baker. Damn it, Baz. Baz is telling me something that makes me want to, uh... Makes me want to check something. Let's see, what do I do here? Uh, damn it, Baz. Okay, what's Baz got? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll call these others, I don't know. Um... So this lady, this old lady has been to Bella's. God, (laughs) this is terrible. I'm harassing their customers now. This isn't what I wanted this to become. (laughs) But I'm going to do it. Uh, What do I say to this lady who has been to Bella's before? What was the guy's name I talked to, the manager? Crap, crap, crap. Anyone remember his name? What's his name? What's his name? Hi, this is the Felbert. I can't answer the phone right now, so please leave your name. Whatever. I'll guess I'm going to leave her alone. 
Actually, I'm not calling all these. I, I gotta Google these numbers, because I know you guys are just gonna send me, uh... I, I know you people. You're just gonna send me numbers to the FBI and stuff. I know all the tricks. Damn it. Not falling for that again. Fool me once. Bellas has turned off the ability to post to the wall. Josh Bresher, Bresser says. Darn it. That was fun while it lasted. At least there's still wacky reviews. All with five stars, by the way. I think. Oh, shit! I almost forgot about this lady. Okay, do you guys remember... Uh, YouTube probably doesn't remember this because I accidentally didn't turn on the sound that night. Uh, but remember the Caribbean cruise lady and her daughter? The hysterical, hysterically, hysterically laughing daughter. Uh, she's probably not going to answer, but I'm going to give it a call. I'm going to give both of their numbers calls. Um, you know, they're, I, I have no idea how cell phones work on cruises. I'm poor, but... Uh, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try this out and just see if they answer. Please leave your message for see. Marcus Collins. Oh yeah, I remember a mail answered uh, originally when I when I called that number, and he handed me handed me over to uh, Rebecca. Hi, this is Linda. I'm unavailable, and I will not be available until April twenty seventh. April twenty seventh. Oh yeah, it was a one-week cruise. 27th is the day they get back. Sloth is telling me that Carlito says they have coverage available. Carlito knows because he's rich, but it costs a bunch of money. Uh, and they talked about a guy who left a phone on and got hit with the bill for all the SMSs he received in that time. So that's too bad. Like, if I if I'd called the daughter, it would cost her a bunch of money. I could tell her I'm Polly Shore. Please leave your message for... Okay. Oh, well. I'll save her number. Maybe we'll want to give her a call next week for some reason. Give her a survey. I'll give her a wacky survey and she'll just laugh at me constantly for the entire time. Yeah, I... Gia, do you have a good idea? And I was thinking about doing that before. Um. Oh, but... Oh, okay. Give me a second. I gotta do something. Give me a second. I'm gonna do the last call of the day, whether it works out or not. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? I was there yesterday. Um, I mean today. I got a phone call from your manager. I was in there getting a haircut, and they said they they're selling my hair. Um. Okay. Can I get your? Mark's on the phone. Can I get your name, please? Ronald. You say I'm Mark? Uh, we've been having a problem today with someone called our salon and asked for all of our clients' information. And we've been getting weird calls all day, and you are... All day? I believe the fourth person to call. Oh, that's weird. Um, yeah, and, and he's called, like... He's calling, and it's showing up as our number. Oh, my God. And we're God. not calling any of you guys. So we're try we're with the franchisee on the phone right now trying to figure out what's going on. And any anything he says, I'm very sorry. Oh. But we're yeah. trying to get it fixed as fast as we can. Yeah, he said he's um, going to sell my hair. So he, what did he say exactly to you? He said he's going to sell all my hair. Like all the hair that you get cut off of me said he's gonna he swept it up and he's selling it on the black market okay it was weird oh i bet i'm he had my info and stuff okay. i'm just writing all your what you're saying down oh okay you're like a cop okay what kind of <laughs> and what's your last name um uh, my last name's bartowski how, how do you spell that? B A R T O W S K I. Okay. And what's your phone number? 412 0183. 
Okay. Um, if you get any other calls today, I would recommend from that says it's from our salon. Uh-huh. I would recommend not to answer it, and then we're going to because we're on the phone with the franchisee right now, trying to get a hold of what's going on. And, and, <clears throat> unless it's your caller ID, because you just wrote down my number, and you guys might call me back. So it could be you. Yeah. I don't, because I don't want you to keep answering the phone and it shows that it's us, and then you keep getting hurt. Oh, if if him, he tells you know? me he's going to sell my hair again, I'm I'm going to call him a motherfucker. I'm going to like curse at him. I'm I'm okay. I'm going to be like, go ahead and sell my hair, motherfucker. Okay, and if you do find any I'm other gonna, information, don't hesitate to call us and let us know. Going to bang my um, fist on the desk and call him motherfucker. <laughs> We are so sorry, but we're we're really trying to figure out what's oh, going on. Oh, yeah, no, it's no problem. I know it's not you, unless it's just like a rogue employee that's there in the back room using your phone, maybe. Yeah. Because our franchisee's name is Mark, so he found oh. out information about us. Our he, he probably just uses like that our, name on all yeah. his phone scams. That sounds like a common name that he probably just used. Mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm hey, really can, sorry. We'll figure this out and we'll let you know. Maybe you can put me in. Everything maybe you can know. put me in touch with the other people who got pranked, and we can all like rise together and and form a posse and figure out who this is. Yeah, we're gonna. We're definitely. Oh, so you're the fifth person that oh, you fifth. called. Fifth. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought there was just three. Um, but all of them have been pretty weird. So we're yeah. trying to figure out, and I apologize again. Okay, and but you don't you, you I, don't even sell hair, do you? Like, do you sell hair from the customers no, here? No, we donate hair to oh. uh, children with, you know, cancer. Even like <laughs> short hair, like mine. No, it has to be ten inches long. Oh. Okay, so that I know it's a prank. Then when he calls back, I'm gonna yeah. call him a motherfucker. I'm gonna say, you goddamn okay, motherfucker. You goddamn motherfucker! Say whatever. Say, you listen, feel better, yeah. Listen here, motherfucker. I know you're not really with with the haircut place. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, definitely that, not. Yeah, is that what I should say to him? Do you recommend that? Um, you can say whatever you'd like. I'm gonna call him a motherfucker. Say, listen okay. here, motherfucker. Goddamn motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Well, I, uh, we're going to get back to trying to okay. get a hold of everyone. I'm going to threaten his life. Do you think I should threaten his life? No, definitely I, I'm don't gonna, do that. Because I, I have a gun. I'm going to say, I'm going to get my gun out, and I'm going to load it, and I'm going to come over to your house. I'm going to tell him I have a tracer on the line. Well, hopefully I'll, we'll get it figured out before it gets that bad. Okay, okay. I'm going to tell him I have a tracer, and I'm going to call him a motherfucker, and I'm going to say I'm on my way over to his house with a gun. You motherfucker! Um, I'm gonna come over there and kill you. I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna put the okay. I'm gonna put the pistol to him, dog. So I guess I'm okay, gonna hang sorry, up now and wait. For... To get some okay. Information. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for that call. But... I I think he's beeping in right now. Okay. Well, I hope he doesn't call you back. Oh, if he and, does, I'll call um, him a motherfucker. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna get off of the phone with you, and we're right. going to Bye. try to figure out what's going on. Okay, it's 3.01. The show's over. I quit. <clears throat> Goddamn motherfucker trying to steal my hair. I hope you all enjoyed this show. I sure did. We we caused all kinds of civil unrest in Ohio and wherever that place was. Oh, and um, Bella's Italian Grill, uh, she says, To our loyal guests and followers, we were hacked. How were they hacked? What does that even mean? And several inappropriate comments and pictures were posted. We apologize and are deleting and reporting it as it's happening. Thanks for your understanding, Bella's crew. And Josh Bresser says to buy a tracer. I should call them up and let them know that I sell tracers. Would you like to buy one? Let me let me refresh. <laughs> There's eight comments on that post now, now that I've refreshed. Uh, Jose says, cactus, 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 cactus. And when I opened it up, uh, there's only two posts. So, oh, and Jose also says I'm reporting you to the BBB for improper installation on on your on your glory holes. Uh, let me quickly check the reviews. Nope, no, no new reviews. Same old reviews. Um. Okay, so we're done with this place. Leave them alone. Please don't harass them all week like you did with big whatevers that place. Uh, what else? Uh, Laugh Track Matt's shirt store, laughtrackmatt.spreadshirt.com. 
he just mailed me a bunch of new drawings. So there's going to be a bunch more on his shirt store pretty soon. So that's exciting. That's really exciting. I'm sad I didn't get to call the Caribbean lady, but I figured that's what would happen. And, uh... Uh, someone's saying they're gonna phone mob them. Please, come on. Jerks. Bunch of jerks. Okay, thanks for listening to the show. Uh, support us on Patreon so I can do uh, more shows and, and more amazing things like this whole Bone Cage I Freak Alone thing. We're gonna do so many crowdsourced projects this year. Tons and tons motherfuckers uh patreon.com slash phone losers